going to see a follow up to the Coulomb Master Hyper 103. This video contains the installation guide for it. Let's get started. Here we see my motherboard which is a Gigabyte B85M. It has a stock Intel cooler. We're going to replace that with this bad boy. So let's get started. First, let's take the motherboard and try and remove the stock cooler. It's easy enough to remove. It might take a bit of fiddling around. Oh, and a noob mistake. Forgot to remove the fan connector. There is off. Now you can see the stock thermal goop is already onto it, so we gotta clean it. It's all clean, nice and shiny. You can see my 4770. Also cleaned up the surroundings. Just because I could. Now let's take a look at the cooler. Here we have the back plate, the mounting, the cooler itself, and the screws. First, take a look at the back plate. It supports both Intel and AMD. One side for the Intel and another for AMD. Now let's start putting in the screws. Let's drop in all the four screws onto into it. And let's clip those screws using the plastic clipper which, were, which is provided. Yeah, one done. Now let's repeat it two the other three times. Here you can see my OCD to line up the screws into a perfect order. And there it is. Now let's remove the PWM fan from the cooler. It snaps right off. Flip the cooler and try and install the mounting mechanism for the Intel. Keep it down there and try and screw the screw in. Right by hand but it did not happen so I had to go find a screwdriver. There, were, there I have the screwdriver and I am screwing it. I screwed, I screwed it in nice and tight, tight and then I'm and then I'm testing it for its sturdiness. It's sturdy. Now let's take the motherboard. Now let's take the motherboard and try and install the cooler onto it. All the components needed are here the back plate the screws the fan a screwdriver just in case the thermal goop provided by cooler master the fixing screws the cooler itself now flip the motherboard and drop in the back plate it should slide in right easily Mine took a bit of fiddling around, but got in. Now place the motherboard on a flat surface, which is non-conductive. Take the cooler, flip it over and remove the plastic backing, which protects the copper pipes. But forward an important step to apply the thermal goop. Open up the cap of the thermal paste injector and place it on the processor and a small amount because this isn't a big one.
Now take, take the cooler and place it upon the processor, lining in the screws from the back plate. Apply some pressure onto it and wiggle it around a bit so the thermal compound gets into every nick and cranny. Now we take the screws and start mounting them. First I screw them in lightly without applying any pressure and then tighten them in an X pattern. Like so, the X pattern. All the major work is done now. As you can see, it's mounted correctly. There's no wiggle into it. Now the only thing left is reinstalling the PWM fan. We open the zip tie. Take the fan and try and clip it on onto the cooler. Like so. See it's, it snaps right in. And the only thing left is reinstalling the fan onto the CPU header. There we have it guys. The cooler installed and ready to rock and roll. Or cool the processor. Thanks. Bye.